Can you reapply for DNO permission and get more capacity? Well, in my recent video comparing Tesla Powerwall 3 and SIG Energy SIG install, I made a point about how the Powerwall 3 has a more versatile inverter and is therefore potentially the better option should you get restricted by the DNO. This DNO limitation factor is a very important point because if you get limited, then I think this is where the Tesla system has a serious advantage. The reason that the DNO has restricted you is because the local grid infrastructure in your area is not strong enough to handle your solar and battery system at the rating that you've applied for. However, the grid is always being improved. Substations, transformers, overhead cables are always being upgraded to handle increased electricity demand and also to enable households to install micro generators like solar and battery systems. So if you get a DNO restriction, I'd say that there's a fair chance that if you reapply in two years time, you might get a better offer. Remember that they can never take away your previously allowed capacity, so there's no risk to reapplying. I wanted to make this quick video to explain more about how you might be able to reapply and get a better DNO offer after installation. So just quickly, what is a DNO application and why do you need one? Well, if you're looking to install a solar or battery inverter larger than 3.68 kilowatt per phase, then your installer will need to apply for permission from your local distribution network operator, or DNO, prior to installation. The reason why we need to apply is because the system has the potential to send electricity to the grid, which in turn raises the grid voltage. And the grid network operators need to ensure that if your system is exporting to the grid, that the voltage stays within its operating range. So when we do an application, we tell the DNO the rating of the inverter that we're looking to install, as well as the export capacity that we're looking for, which is usually the same as the inverter rating. They will then run calculations based on the worst case scenario to them, which is when the system is exporting at full capacity. The DNO are only looking at your inverter rating. They don't care how many panels you plan to install or how many kilowatt hours of battery storage, only the inverter rating. Unfortunately, you can't predict what the DNO will come back with. However, you can make an educated guess. If you're in a built-up housing area or new housing estate, then you're likely going to get quite a good offer, as the local grid infrastructure will be quite strong and likely well-maintained. If you live in the countryside and your house is at the end of the line and far away from a substation, then it's more likely that you'll get limited by the DNO. You can also make a guess by looking at other solar installations in the area. If there isn't much solar in your area, then it's likely there's excess available capacity within your local grid that can be taken up for your installation. See my video on how the grid capacity is first come first served to learn more about this. Anyway, on to the point of this video. If you have been limited by the DNO, the primary reason is because the local grid infrastructure is not strong enough to handle the impact of the system that you're looking to install. However, the grid is always being upgraded and there's a fair chance that if you have been limited originally and you then reapply for more generation and or export further down the line, you may well get allowed some additional generation and export capacity. How long should you wait to reapply? Well, that's really up to you. If you installed a system five years ago with a DNO restriction, then I'd say it's worth submitting another application. If you've just installed solar and battery, then I would wait a year or so at least, unless you happen to see engineers working on the local substation. Now, if you do reapply and the DNO does come back awarding you more capacity, then what are your options? Well, if your export limitation improves, then that should just be a setting in the inverter software that can be changed without much hassle, and your installer will be able to do that for you. However, if your allotted generation capacity improves, then your options depend on the type of inverter that you have installed. If you have an inverter with a fixed rating, like the SIG Energy 8 kilowatt, or the Solis 6 kilowatt, or the Give Energy 5 kilowatt, for example, then when the system was designed, you'd have had to pick whichever inverter was most suitable to your restriction. So let's say you have a 12 kilowatt solar system with a SIG Energy battery, then it would make sense to use the 12 kilowatt Sigen Energy Controller. However, if the DNO then restricted you to say 8 kilowatts, you'd have to go with the 8 kilowatt inverter. There's nothing technically wrong with that, and most inverters can be oversized to at least 150%. Side energy can actually be oversized to 200%. However, if you then get allowed more DNO capacity further down the line, then in order to increase your inverter rating, you'll have to pay for a new inverter. If you have a system with an inverter like that in the Tesla Powerwall 3, 
which is 11.04 kilowatts and can just be throttled down in the software depending on your DNO restriction, then if you get a better DNO offer, you can simply get the inverter uprated remotely without needing to spend a penny on new technology. So this is an important point for those that are looking to get a solar and battery system installed. If you get a DNO restriction and will want to increase it in the future if possible, then it's definitely worth looking at a system that works in the same way as the Powerwall 3. If you don't want a Powerwall 3, then I think your best alternative is going to be the hybrid Give Energy All-in-One when that's released. Other than the Powerwall 3 and hybrid Give Energy All-in-One, I'm not aware of any other systems that work in a similar way. Something I get asked a lot is, well, how do I know that the grid won't come back with a worse offer than the one they previously gave? And the answer to that is that they can't take away your existing capacity. Once the DNO has given you an offer for generation and export at your supply, and you have commissioned a system, they cannot take that capacity away from you when the system is installed. So there is no risk or potential downside to you reapplying for more DNO capacity. Thanks for watching, I hope this was helpful, and if you're within two hours of Reading, please do get in touch with Spirit Energy and either myself or my colleagues will give you a bespoke technical quotation that is tailored to your needs and maximises the return that you're getting from your solar and battery.